Warmest day of the year so far came with multiple shootings across the city. Chicago police are investigating a number of different scenes from last night into this morning. Tonight, community groups are trying to find a way to cool the violence before the weather heats up even more. CBS 2 Sharday Gray joins us live at Chicago Police Headquarters with a look at some of those efforts and how they're working so far. Sharday. Well, Dana, so far, at least 35 people have been shot this weekend. That's been happening since midnight on Saturday. We do tend to see a spike in crime as the weather warms up in the city each year. That happened, and that's what we saw yesterday. We did have a chance to talk to an anti-violence program who says that they diffuse violence by using a trauma-informed approach and principles from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It's just that said that a lot of them don't have social skills where they understand that everything don't, doesn't have to be a fight. When there's a shooting in Austin or West Garfield Park, Frederick Seaton is there finding out what happened in his neighborhood. The most important part is gathering information to determine the strategy. Once we get, get the information, then we put the strategy in hand, who we need to talk to. Seaton is the outreach supervisor with Institute for Nonviolent Chicago, a program aiming to build trust in specific neighborhoods like Austin, West Garfield, and back of the yards. Their team responded to this shooting at Garfield and Damon, which left four people shot around sunset Saturday. You can see evidence markers scattered in the ground along with a massive police presence. Two of the victims have since died. <laughs> More bloodshed throughout the city of Chicago. In the Bronzeville neighborhood, a man was shot and killed inside a store after a fight. It happened near 47th and Cottage Grove. The victim was shot twice in the chest and was transported to the University of Chicago, where he was pronounced dead. And we basically be based upon that. Brian Robertson with Ready yeah. Chicago, an anti-violence program where data has shown nearly two thirds of the participants are less likely to be arrested for shootings or homicides and nearly 20% less likely to be shot or killed. People that's in the mindset of thinking that this guy is his enemy and not his enemy. And when they get in the settings, they'd be like, hey, I never, you never did nothing to me. My homie just ain't like you. Both programs were out last night working together as one. This is the only group of people that run to the carnage instead of running from it. We asked the Chicago Police Department if Superintendent Brown plans to address this weekend's shootings. We're told there are no plans at this time. Reporting live at police headquarters, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. Right, Charday, thank you.